Right fielder, number 19, Jose Bautista. On August 21st, 2008, the Toronto Blue Jays beat the New York Yankees 14-3, behind the pitching of the great Roy Halladay. But even with the victory, they remained stuck in fourth place, 11 and a half games out in the American League East. The same day, the team announced a trade with the Pittsburgh Pirates that passed almost entirely unnoticed. Heading out was the ever popular player to be named later. Coming back to Toronto was an infield who had originally been drafted in the 20th round by the Pirates and then bounced around through trades and waiver claims and the Rule 5 draft. Jose Bautista, two months short of his 28th birthday, had over the previous two seasons begun to establish himself as an everyday big leaguer with decent power. But a superstar, a home run king, that didn't seem to be in the cards. It took a while before it was clear that Bautista's best defensive position wasn't third base, it was right field, where his cannon arm would be even more of an asset. And the power stroke that would become his trademark didn't truly fall into place until near the end of his first full season in Toronto, with the help of the Jays' new hitting coach, Wayne Murphy. In September 2009, Bautista broke out, hitting 10 home runs, and he never looked back. The following year, Bautista shattered George Bell's single-season Blue Jays home run record, became the first player in team history to hit 50, and finished with 54, by far tops in the majors. He won his first Silver Slugger, finished fourth in American League MVP balloting, and began a six-year run as an All-Star, and one of the game's premier power hitters. He was also the harbinger of a Blue Jays renaissance, that would culminate with the team's return to the playoffs for the first time since the World Series year of 1993. But even as he was being universally hailed as one of baseball's best, Bautista played every day as though he still had something to prove, with a bit of a chip on his shoulder, demanding respect. The pinnacle of Bautista's career was also the peak baseball experience for an entire generation of Blue Jays fans. Win or go home. Winner of today's game will move on. You remember the night. October 14th, 2015. A jam-packed Rogers Center. The division series against the Texas Rangers hanging in the balance. The bottom half of a long, crazy inning that so many can recount pitch by pitch. I can't recall another baseball game where emotion ran so high. Bautista at the play. Sam Dyson on the mound. The pitch. The swing. The 1 1. Bautista drives it. Deep left field. Goal! And suddenly it is 6 to 3 for Toronto. The Blue Jays' dugout has erupted. And in that instant, the release of years of pent up frustration the explosion of joy, the declaration that the Blue Jays were back, that Toronto was still a baseball town, and that Jose Bautista was the man. All of them encompassed in a battle. It wasn't just about sports. It was a cultural touchstone, a where were you then moment for an entire nation. He played in other uniforms, he began and ended his career in other cities, but Jose Bautista belongs to Toronto. And now, his name is right where it should be. Part of that select group on the level of excellence. Forever a Blue Jay.